Hello everyone, my name is Kelly and I'm the community manager at Game Analytics. So today I'm going to be going over our filtering feature that lets you look at your data however you want and help you answer tricky questions like how does my retention in the US compare to that in the UK? Which devices have the highest win percentages in my game? And which levels are being completed or failed the most? So you basically use this feature to select a specific or multiple events or dimensions you want to measure. But keep in mind that you cannot apply filters to our real-time dashboard. But you can actually apply them to everywhere else. So for example, we're just in our Explore tool. So you can apply it here. You can apply in courts and so on. So for this particular video, we'll be looking at the Explore tool and the default metric DAO, which stands for daily active users for those of you who don't know. So let's say you wanted to create a filter that includes the players from two separate groups. The first being players from Germany and the second being the devices the games have been played. So what you need to do now is you just press the add filter button. The moment you do this, four different tabs will pop up. So you'll see dimensions, events, convicts, and chords. So for, in order to find country, you want to select dimensions. Here you go. And here you can quickly click on Germany. And then you press apply. And you see that you have created one filter. So now you go back. And you select device over here under the dimensions tab. And then you can select all devices. And then press apply again. So you can actually keep track of the different dimensions you've added on the selected filters panel up here. See, there you go. Um, so what happens next is you will access the split drop down list on the top right corner. You'll see a breakdown of the dimensions or events you have selected. For example, you just see, you know, all the daily active users for the players in Germany. You can just go over here, the split uh, drop down list, and you click country. Here you go. See, you'll see the numbers for the time frame of um, September 9th. To September 15th. And then, for example, if you want to see the different um, devices, then you just click device time seven and then get a breakdown of the different players using different devices. So, yeah, this brings the end of this our little tutorial. So, I hope you learn a bit more about our uh, platform today. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact our support team at support at gameanalytics.com. But in the meanwhile, make sure to check our resources page because there will be a lot of information there that you can find. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. Have a good one.